gap and placement, and the boot is uh, right through. Oh, they're saying it slipped off to the side. That's how I call balls and strikes. <laughs> well, North will get another chance. Well, you know what's so disappointing about that fumble? You work all week. And then right away. On your first play, backside uh, sack. And I mean, we, we talked about it. Southwest is extremely fast. And uh, Campbell. Griesmeyer and Weston Nelson are back deep for the Raiders. Stationed right in the middle of the field. Uh, just out of your camera angle is uh, Danny Wild, number 14. Squib kick bounces <laughs> right over the head of a receiver. And then North recovers it. Kind of. Inside the 25. I think that was... Tommy right there. Who's that kid? Sh short hops him and then uh, picks it up. I guess when you play second. You know second, him, don't you? <laughs> when he plays second base, he gets that extra time too. <laughs> to throw to first if you drop it. <laughs> it's going to be first and 10 north. Ball spotted on the 29-yard line. Pulp coming That's on. That's not right. It's uh, got to be the 24. Yep. Pulp on the opposite side this time, Marty. Flag goes up, inside handoff to Wild. He uh, doesn't get much there. He carried the ball 38 times last week, Martin. I saw that. <laughs> well, hey, it means you got the ball for 39, well, more than that, obviously, yeah. but I mean, Lee, you're controlling the ball, running the clock. I like that idea. If you know, I don't know if necessarily have 38, but if you can get somebody else that can carry it a little bit. Carson Bell going to have to do that. Now, I know they've added option a little bit this week. Let's see if they use some of that. Um, as well. I don't know if that's really going to work against the Southwest team, but another penalty on North. So two penalties and a fumble in the first two and a half minutes. That's not very good. Got to be better than that. Okay, be first and 15. Inside handoff. And uh, I believe it was Danny Wild gets it up to about the 24. See, if you can do that, make gains like that, keep the ball out of Southwest, you know, nickel and dime them a little bit down the field, and, you know, you can hang with Southwest, but that's the kind of stuff you have to do. That was great blocking by the offensive line, cleared a hole, but we got to do that for another three and a half quarters. Yeah, Wild is a deep back in this formation. Quick pass out to uh, Griesmeyer, and he gets it out over the 25 to about the 28. Well, Griesmeyer's real fast, Marty, so that's a good play if you can get him the ball and he can use get his feet. Get him in feet. space, right? Yeah, get him his nice little area there he can work. And again, a, a nice safe pass there for Aaron. Makes it third and six, not impossible here. Nowhere pops lined up. It's gonna be third down and six. I think this is a good decision here. You know. And they're going to call a timeout. Something wasn't right with the offensive setup. 8.49 remaining in the first quarter. Uh, north down, 6 to nothing. Got some instructions we want to give you folks uh, that you can use. Uh, this has to do with uh, the website for the TV station and uh, we do live streaming. This game is going live over the internet. Now you people that are watching it on Saturday or Tuesday or Wednesday of course it's not, but uh, the day of the game, any home game that we're covering those games will be streamed live over the internet. And the way you do this is uh, you go to our website wscssheboygan.com and then on that home page up in the upper right hand corner there's a link to uh, programming and a uh, little pull down menu will come and you want to pick VOD player that stands for video on demand that'll take you to the next screen and on that screen near the right hand side of the page you're going to pick live stream let's go to our 
game here. North has third and six. Peterson with a nice toss over the middle, but uh, way over the head of the intended receiver, Mitch Wild. And once you get to that live stream, click on that link, and then uh, after that, there's another several links on the next page, and you want to pick WSCS mobile event stream because we're doing this out of the truck tonight. But uh, So that's how you want to do that. I'll repeat it again in the second half, but uh, the pass goes incomplete. And it'll be fourth down. North will be punting. A nice punt there. To about the 42. Yeah, good one. I was worried about it being blocked. Bit of a worry word, Chris. Ball well, is spotted changed, on the 42. They changed the snapper. I know that uh, that's two weeks ago you weren't here, but they struggled a little bit on their snap, so... Carson Did you Bell, see I that believe. pro game last week? <laughs> I think it was Oakland. I mean, it was comical, the, oh, the problems they had the with their uh, punting. Yeah. Unbelievable. I think Carson Bell has now moved into the... Uh, snapper spot. Snapper spot. and Tommy oh. Wright's now the cadence guy. All right, nice uh, little pick up there. Matt Adams on the carry. Second down and about five. McMahon under center. Throws to his tight end out here on the wing and a pretty good defense that time by North. The receiver, Joel Klein gets it up to the 50. It's only a three yard pickup. It's going to be third down and about two. Man under center. And North jumps the gun. Again. Yep. You got to watch the ball, boys. Oh boy. Yeah, it's not good. First down and a good carry that time. Making the nice run for uh, was Thomas Kieran, or Kieran Thomas, pardon me. Austin Campbell on the tackle. I want to mention Austin Campbell. We're talking the secondary, Marty. That, we don't need that. Nope, you don't want to get it to that point. Aaron Peterson now playing safety uh, for the Raiders. Now McMahon ducks under center. Quick flip over the middle. The ball is, are they going to call it a catch and a fumble or an incomplete? It looks like they're calling it a fumble. Nope, it was a completed pass and then a fumble, and North gets it back. Getting it was uh, Aaron Peterson, Chris. It's a good thing we just mentioned him. Man gets a completion, and then they fumble it away. North has it first and 10, ball on the 29-yard line for the Raiders. Nice run there by Danny Wild. I yeah, see, I Wild like struggles this. up over the 30-yard line. He runs hard. you got to give him that. Well, I just think the plan is you're just more likely to succeed going up the middle than taking it to the outside. And, uh, <laughs> Especially with the quickness they have. Yeah, and uh, those quick hitters are not too bad. And you look at the secondary for uh, Southwest, they're not big kids, you know. So could you maybe pick, a, pick, pick one here, but I like this idea here. 
Filed again. Uh, that time he didn't get much. Got it up to about the 34. Give him a gain of two. It's going to be third down and five. Wild has three carries for 10 yards so far. Peterson with a fake, he's rushed hard, he slips one tackler, fires the ball, almost intercepted, and it goes incomplete. Dangerous pass, Chris. Running a lot though for uh, help, that's uh, definitely the case. Unfortunately, nothing from that uh, turnover. It's good defense, Marty. They are, uh, they're good. They're number one and we've seen it so far. Yeah. Kick is away, it's another nice one taken by the receiver at the 42 yard line. And then knocked out of bounds. And it's going to be uh, first and ten for uh, Southwest. You can kind of see, Chris, where they're, uh, well, at least so far, their offense doesn't seem real uh, real dynamic. No. You want to put it that way. Pretty workmanlike. Gorzak is the uh, lone setback behind McMahon. Fake handoff. Good defense. Oh, got a oh, face boy. mask. Good uh, Sam Pelzel actually did uh, a good job, Chris, of uh, reading his keys, but when he uh, tried to get the tack, the, the ball carrier, his uh, hand got in the mask. That's uh, 15. Yeah, that'll be a big one. Third Dom penalty on North. Dominic Mann comes in to replace him. Going to be first and ten. Ball is going down to the, uh, we'll call it the 30 yard line. McMahon in the shotgun this time alongside Gorzak. North with a good rush, but they don't get to him, and the oh receiver boy. out there makes the catch. Catch the number of that kid. Number 16, Allen, uh, Caldick Allen making the catch. That was too easy. 15 to 16. Oh boy. Yeah, that was too easy, Chris. How many yards do you have on that? Uh, they had the ball on the 31 yard line, so okay. I suppose we should call it a 31 yard completion. Okay, blocked. Kick is blocked. Another point after that's no good. With uh, 4.48 remaining in the first quarter, Southwest on top, 12 to nothing. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic, and obey stop signs and lights. Yeah, hopefully North People can get something going go here. Places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money. Rough sledding so far, Chris. I don't know how you let a receiver get so far behind you. Yeah, you know, once he gets by, you might as well just let him go. I mean, there was, <laughs> was a <laughs> That's lot. what he did. There, he was open by about 10 yards. Here we go. Another squibber. That time, the... Uh, Dominic Mon. Dominic. Whoops. Running hard. <laughs> That'll be far enough, young man. And he gets hit. Dominic, uh, former Jefferson kid. Well, this is a... Uh, Fourth time that North had the ball, and it's we're only at the 4:42 mark in a very slow quarter. 
This time they have it at the 39. You, you notice, though, they're not getting the ball deep to the uh, fast return people of uh, North. So uh, Pop, Bryce Pop, the coach, must have uh, did a little bit of scouting, eh, Chris? Probably. Two wide receivers out here to the left. Peterson that. rolling. There is a flag on the play, and coming through and making the stop was uh, Stephen Kintz. And uh, Peterson is uh, down, and now he's up. But check out the flag. Oh, boy. Motion on the uh, Raiders. Right. Yeah, they won't take that. He'll take the play. It's all the way back to the 30. Real procedures declined. Sack results in a loss of nine yards. Four? Four penalties now. Yep. Of course, they can't count that one. Yep, no, we won't count that one. So it's only three. See, it's not so bad, Chris. Up back for nor North is Carson Bell. Quick flip out to Griesmeyer and off his hands. He should have had that one. That's the ball you got to catch. Be third down for the Raiders and 19. You know, I do like the pass call, I mean the, the play call because it is a you know a shorter kind of pass. You should be able to complete it and then it gets him in open, open space, hopefully. As I you agree. had mentioned, he's a fast kid. Yep, and I uh, I just don't like, uh, well I like, don't like. <laughs> I <laughs> like the fact that Aaron just has to do a quick drop and throw because you know they're gonna be coming. Peterson's pass is complete to Nelson. And uh, he gets it back up to the original line of scrimmage, and that's it. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth and ten. Third punt. Is uh, Wild the punter, Chris? Yep. Oh, that's offsides. They're not calling it, but they are going to throw a pass, and Griesmeyer's... Oh! That's two he dropped. He was wide open. Used his body instead of his hands. That Southwest guy was so far offsides, and they don't call it, but a great call by there. But again, another ball falls to the ground. Hmm. And this is... Uh, Got to catch those. Well, it's going to be first down on the uh, 39. Man under center. Gorzak is the uh, lone setback. He gets the inside handoff and uh, doesn't get much. Good gang tackling that time by the Raiders. Pickup of only two yards on the play. In the backfield this time is uh, Kieran Thomas, number 24. The deep back uh, got the ball. And uh, that was not Thomas. That was... Uh, Adams. Matt Adams. Adams. Adams with a nice gain. Picked up six. It's going to be third down and two. McMahon back. Forced out of the pocket. Oh, he got ripped down very hard. Making the nice hit out there was uh, Trevor Peters. But uh, McMahon did get the first down. I think Abel was the one who was out there first, forcing that, but uh, again, just missed the tackle there. But getting there, but another first down for Southwest as we go to about two minutes. 
217 left in the first quarter. Southwest on top, 12 to nothing. They're on the move again. Hand off to Adams again. He bounces off a couple of tacklers. He's going to go to the end zone. He's in. Touchdown. Matt Adams with the score from 29 yards out, Chris. Let's try that extra point again. About the only thing they haven't done right yet. Yeah. Oh, that one was kicked to uh, Hoosberg. Yep. And it's good. With 2.09 remaining, it's uh, Southwest 19. North nothing. Parents' night tonight, Chris. We've got a pretty good crowd. You know what that you know what that means when you have parents' night? A lot more coaching help. <laughs> Griesmeyer in the middle of the threesome that's back to receive the kick, but uh, the Southwest kicker has not been kicking deep. He's been running squibbers all night. That one he kicks. Griesmeyer's got it on the 12, 16-yard line, pardon me. Hey, good and run. And he showed good speed, got it out over the, to about the 35. Very good run. Good now you know why, and yeah, now you know why they're not kicking off to him. Yep, and uh, just the thing that we mentioned before, if he catches the ball, yeah, he has that speed. Uh, he was on the uh, North Relay team that did go to state. And it wasn't for the distance relay either. It was quicker, the quicker guys. Yeah. The Weston Nelson is the wide out uh, right at the bottom of your screen. Peterson, Bell in, in motion. Fake handoff. Pass is uh, complete to uh, Matt Theobald. I saw his dad, Mike, here. Yep. Plays a little baseball. Yeah. A lot of these kids play baseball. Don't want to get anybody hurt though. Second down and about six. Wild uh, gets stood up in the hole, trying to get away but uh, couldn't get away from uh, Nathan Pop, and there's yeah, a Southwest get down. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Nathan Pulp was right there uh, and hung on there. Official timeout for the injury. It's going to be third down in about six. Well, we never like to see anybody get hurt. The uh, young man that's down is uh, Reggie McKenzie. Now, does Chris Lenz go to work on their players? Uh, I don't think he's out they there. They don't have uh, someone with them, but uh, it appears that they have somebody. McKenzie's a pretty big boy, Chris. 6'4", 266. I wonder if he's related to... I don't know. By the way, uh, Marty, I was up in Green Bay yesterday, and uh, I think our guys beat your Bears. I wasn't watching. And I had 
bare people behind me, and they kept reminding me how terrible the Packers were. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't so terrible. Well, I, th I thought the Bears played pretty good defense really for good. the most part. Yeah, it was a fun game to watch. Interesting that uh, Aaron Rodgers didn't have a touchdown pass. Oh! Yep. Trying to close on that pass, but not quite making it was uh, Stephen Kins, number 23. Well, this Southwest team made it to the Final Four last year, and uh, they brought back a lot of their guys, and some people believe they're the pick of the conference. Marty picked them this year. and Did I? Uh, yep. I think the, I said they were right up there. They're in the top three. Going for the block, and they just missed it, but a great punt pushes the receiver all the way back to the 25. 48 yards, Marty. Yeah, that was a dandy. On the return was uh, Khan Belushi. Well, I can't believe this, Marty, but this is, <laughs> this is now the fifth time that Southwest has the ball. We still have 32 seconds in a game that's just crawling along. Yeah, really. But I, if, I ran out of lines on my paper a long time ago. I gotta be honest with you, this might be the last play of the quarter, and I got a feeling, whoop wow. maybe not. <laughs> that was not a good pass. Was intended for uh, Jake Gorzek, but uh, as you could see, there was uh, not a good pass. It was in, went incomplete. Ian Gorzak was in there. Well, he's only, Chris had mentioned earlier that he only averages about uh, eight passes a game, about. And uh, he's already got uh, four in. And we're all not even done with the first quarter. And they're in a passing formation. Pitch out to Gorzak. That's a nice hold on uh, the outside. Good call. I got it. And the ball carrier gets ridden out of bounds in the uh, Raider territory, but uh, there is a flag on the play. They were holding Sam Pelzel there the end. You could just walk this one back here. That's their first penalty, Chris. Gonna be second and a bunch. Yeah, they're gonna go back to the uh, 28, Marty, which will set up a second and 22. Now, some fans might be saying, well, how can it be 22 if it was second and 10? All spotted on the uh, 29 yard line. Spot of the foul. McMahon in the shotgun, 20 seconds left. Whoa. Good play. And the ball carrier. Caldeck Allen is hit for a huge loss, and uh, that may be the end of the quarter. Let's yeah. hope. <laughs> Brandon Hicks was uh, getting up the line there and denied that, and that will be the end of the first quarter, Marty. And a loss of eight on that, and that'll be the end of one. With the score, Green Bay Southwest 19, Sheboygan North nothing. All right, here we go. Third down and 30. 
Just starting second quarter action. McMahon dropping back, looking for the screen. He's got Gorzak, one, misses, oh, missed boy. by one tackler. He could get it. A block from behind, not called. And the receiver is taken down at the 40-yard uh, line. So a nice little pickup, but they did not get the first down. Whew, they're lucky too, but again, missed tackles. Opportunities, and then good blocking downfield. That was a nice, safe place play there. Now, uh, Nathan Pulp also does the punting. Um, he is first in the league in punting at about 40 yards per. He's also up for the John Anderson Best Linebacker in the State Award. Good snap. Punt is almost, oh, and they're going to call him for roughing. That was a great job of acting. That was. That was better than Nortman in the conference in the Big Ten championship game. Roughing the kicker. Five yards, so they get uh, get to punt it again. Or give ball, North the ball. Yep. Why not? Give a shot. Or you got to lo lose. Well, talking to Southwest, seeing what they want to do. And they're calling them back. Going to do it again. Might as well. He can punt it better than that anyway. Tommy Wright getting the instructions. Are we going right? Are we going left? Which way are we going here? Sure it's not right or wrong? Well, hopefully they're setting up something. Nelson is back deep. Another penalty on North, by the way, Marty. Yep, I got her down. We're on top of it. Hanky on the field. Oh, boy. Another one. Fair caught. Oh, nice catch. That was uh, not Weston Nelson. That was uh, Austin Bork. Motion on <laughs> Southwest. <laughs> Let's punt it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, Southwest with theirs. Actually, I think that's their first penalty, Chris. No. Uh, there was one in there where they declined it, but I'm not sure if that was a North or Southwest penalty. Hey, we're going to punt it again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. Tommy Wright back on the field making the call. And we're going back between the 40 and the 45. If North jumps offside here, I think I'm going to have him. Oh. And let's try this again. Pop. Ooh, that's a high, long one. Mark signals for the Good fair catch. Good thing we uh, decided to have him kick it again. Yeah, he, that was the, by far the best of the bunch. Well, uh, and it's downed at the 10. Marty, he's the best punter in the league. <laughs> and you gave him three chances to kick one 50 yards. <laughs> and he did. Yeah. Geez. First and 10 for the Raiders. Ball is spotted on the 10 yard line. 10.36 remaining in the second quarter. Southwest on top, 19 to nothing. They scored on a one yard run by Gorzek, a 31 yard pass to uh, Allen, and then a uh, 29 yard run by uh, Matt Adams. And North is Looking to make some hay while the sun shines. Inside handoff, not much. Not much going there. That was Carson Bell on the carry. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's second down. Ball remains on the 10 yard line. That means, Chris, it was a no gainer. I'm just chuckling about the punt. They punted three times, and then he just booms one. <laughs> yeah, give him enough chances. You're right. He'll do it. Option. Yeah, trying to get something out of not much, and uh, he didn't get much out of not much. Wild was the ball carry. He took the uh, option pitch, and uh, he actually lost two yards. 
That's unfortunate. It makes it third and long. Third and 12. North has had chances. I mean, they can get their receivers open. They just have to uh, give Peterson a little bit of time and then catch the uh, ball. Two wide receivers off to the left. Peterson rolling that way. Look out. Throws it oh. over the middle. And Aaron got clocked. And uh, got hit after the pass. You're right. They're calling that pass incomplete. The uh, linebacker almost made the catch. And Danny Wilde's going to be pinned up there. And uh, watch Southwest come now, Marty. When you're up against the uh, end zone there and you can rush the punter, you know, you're just sniffing it. Oh, really? You are just sniffing it. Back deep is uh, Kieran Thomas. Good snap. Wiles' kick is away the left footer. Thomas takes it on the 37. Slips by a couple of tacklers and gets it inside the 30-yard line to about the 27. About a 10-yard return. Nice tackle there. I think that was Peters. Oh, Carson Bell, good hit. Yeah, I thought it was a real nice uh, return by that kid. Ball spotted on the 27. Jacob Milhouse, number 76, is the big left right tackle. McMahon in the gun. Looking, looking, has a man deep. Allen, incomplete. A hey, good job by the uh, free safety. Peterson, I believe that was, yep. came over and helped break up the pass. Yeah, Mark was there on the coverage, and then Aaron came over as well. Yeah, they, uh, they got pretty good bookends there. They also have uh, 70, what was it, 71, I thought, before. Derek Schwartz, you want to play high school football, you have to take on a six foot, 308 pounder. And get the job done, boy. Yeah, and now you're a defensive player and you get around that mountain. Fake handoff, little oh. swing pass out to, to Allen. And uh, North Tackler was dragged. Allen's gonna be short of the first down, but he came pretty close. Pardon me, that was Kieran Thomas. Not a bad play by Campbell there, coming up, making the tackle. It's gonna be third down and about two. Eight yards on the play. Man in the gun. North trying to blow, that's gotta be against the uh, Southwest there. Yep, you're right there, Chris. I think they got that on the guard. It's gonna be third down and seven now. North was showing blitz, which caused a little ruckus on the offensive line and back five. Third down. McMahon in the shotgun again. Fake the inside hand. No, he gives it off. And making a nice run and going right into the end zone was Caldick Allen. That was way too easy. Well, there was just no pursuit to just the speed of Southwest and a kick out block on Mork and there was just no blue shirts there, Marty. None whatsoever. And the kid showed good quickness. Yep. Adams again for the TD. Nope, that no. was uh, Caldick Allen, number 16. Oh, Allen, yeah, you're right. Allen, second He's TD. Got pretty good speed. Someone's coming in. Late arrival, you will be sitting for detention on Saturday morning during film study. He'll be in charge of bringing the popcorn. Extra point is up and good with uh, 7.56 remaining until halftime. Southwest on top, 26 to nothing.
Allen's got two touchdowns, Chris. He caught a pass for one, and now he has this running one. Well, if this keeps up, Chris, I can guarantee you the third and fourth quarter won't be nearly as long as the first. Our next broadcast will be September 21st when De Pere, another top-notch team in the conference, comes to town to play uh, Sheboygan South. Tell you, you look at some of the guys injured for North. De Pere is two and one entering tonight's play. Aaron Rothwell, Tyler Van Calgan, Noah Stengel. Boom. I think that was Dominic Mon again. Those guys all oh. could help. That was by uh, Brandon Hicks on the return. Again, a new quarterback in here, Marty. A new one. Well, Ball's going to be spotted on the 41. Who is this new kid? Jacob Schmidt. Number 12, maybe? Yep. Jacob Schmidt. And uh, directly behind him in the up back position is Carson Bell. Hand off to uh, Wild, the second back, and uh, he gets stopped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss. Well, Chris, you had mentioned about uh, staying inside the tackles for the most part. They've tried that, but uh, Southwest is getting a little bit of penetration. Not working. Ball spotted, we'll call it the 40 yard line. Loss of one. Equipment timeout. Now we're back. Jacob Schmidt at quarterback hands it off to Wild again. And Wild gets it back to the original line of scrimmage, so not much going there. It's going to be a third down play. Let's see if they're going to turn uh, Jacob Schmidt loose this time. Welcome to the FRCC. <laughs> you play the number one defense in the league. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, two wide receivers off to the left. We got a tight end here on the right side. Wild is the lone back. Sh Schmidt almost fell down. Shows a good arm and good defensive play that time. Otherwise, he's got a completion. I think that defender was uh, Stephen Kintz. Well, Schmidt's got a good arm. Give him that. Uh, just kind of threw it to where it's supposed to be. And uh, North is going to line up the punt. We'll have to see if they actually do it. Going back deep is uh, Khan Belushi. Had a good snap there. Wild does get it away. Nice uh, presence of mind. And then a fumble by uh, Southwest. And there is a pile in the middle of the field, right on the 50 yard line. Let's see who's going to come up with it. And they recover. Going to be first and ten for the Trojans right at midfield, Chris. There's uh, 619 remaining. It's been all southwest so far this first half. Van Calligan right down here by the table. You can see his frustration. Yeah, I talked to his mom yesterday. He just, you know, senior year and the weeks are disappearing. And there's the uh, left fielder Austin Mork out there trying to make a play. Trying to get up back to it. He does better with a glove on. Southwest is uh, throwing the ball a lot, Chris. A lot more than I thought they were going to. I thought they'd be pounding away with their running game. In the backfield is uh, 
McMahon in the gun. Allen in motion. He gets the handoff. Same play he scored on before. Yeah. He's got pretty good blocking again. The only thing that kept him from scoring was the sideline and uh, a nice tackle by uh, Austin Campbell. Just no outside contain, Marty. We've seen that a couple times now. They string that out and they pin the north line guys in there and it's just open field and then it's Austin Mork against the world. Yeah. Austin's kind of saying to PD right now, what do you want me to do when there's five white shirts coming at me? And one is the ball and the other ones are big. Hey, well you got to fight through the block. Yeah, now they're going to widen it out a little bit, which is going to create gaps up the middle. Yeah. But that's a good idea by North is, is spread it out a little bit. Or by Southwest, you mean? No, Two guys North. in motion. McMahon. Get him, Dom. Get him, Dom. Uh, throws it away. Good, uh, good decision by him. But uh, we had two men in motion. Oh, I think we're going to get a grounding and uh, motion and multiple penalties this time. Can we take them all or do we only have to take one? I was saying on uh, defense, Marty, that they're kind of trying to spread out. Oh, that way. To okay. cover more so they're not so pinned. But I thought you meant to create good holes up the middle. Yeah, I thought for Southwest to, to spread out the no. offense would leave holes in the middle for them to run no. through. That's what I was. It looked like North was lined up just a tad, you know, half a step out farther, which later on will kill, you know, get you up the middle. But, you know, they're just running that, that same play, that little sweep play. <clears throat> Tell you, last night the officiating crew was slow and poor. At the JV game? Packer game. Oh, the Packer game, yeah. There's, yeah. There was a situation, they had to call timeout because they didn't know the rule. Was that what it was? I was watching on TV. I thought they did better than, uh, than well, uh, the first game that the Packers played. Legal shift, declined. Legal forward pass, loss of down. Unsportsmanly conduct, I think, was the last one, actually. No, I think it's just a uh, legal pass. Shift, maybe? Maybe uh, that's what that is, illegal, illegal shift. Sh pass. Should we go look for it? Nope. I got the sheet. Shift was already out there. Here we go. Second down and 17. Ooh, making a nice stop right go. in the middle of the field was uh, Daniel Mobley. Yeah, Danny Mobley, nice play. Throw a little excitement there, too. He's excited about that big hit. Give that ball carrier uh, maybe a pickup of one at the most. McMahon straight back, looking, 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 fires right down the middle, overshot, and another drop. That one by Peterson, he's death. You know, at some point you gotta start to catch the ball, Chris. I mean, it's just as simple as that. Come on. Oh, four drops, at least four drops. It's gonna be fourth, third down. Oh boy, yeah, North better, doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah, they better get your players on and off the field here. How about call timeout, coach? Call timeout, coach. Southwest uh, allowing them to set up. That was nice. <laughs> Pops punt is away and not a good one. Wow. He's aiming for the sideline, I believe, but uh, shanked it off his foot. Are they going to put it at the 20? And probably the most uh, surprising thing about that, Chris, is there were no penalties. Last time we tried to punt, there was penalties and more penalties. Well, with 4.44 left, the eighth time Sheboygan North has won. Now, sometimes you only get the ball like 10 times in a in game. In a game, yeah, right. Sometimes you only get, you know, about eight. We're Not many sustained drives, that's for sure. No. 
Just swing it up there. Peterson looking for Griesmeyer deep and a good defensive play out there. The knockdown was made by Brian Tomaszewski. A little time for Aaron there. Second down and 10 for the Raiders. Ball spotted on the 20 yard line. North 0 for 3 passing this quarter. Theobald is the uh, very wide receiver. Pass doesn't go to him, it goes to Griesmeyer. Slips by one tackler, but not the next two, and he's hit right at the uh, original line of scrimmage. Good pursuit again by Southwest. Like that play, though, they've run that now three times. And it's going to be third and ten. Now, did you see all that work, Chris? I just got done saying they hadn't completed a pass in the quarter, and they complete one. Well, I was here two weeks ago, and uh, Aaron was like three for twenty, Marty. Ooh, that had to be tough. Well, you weren't working your magic. <laughs> not much. Not much better tonight. Hope is coming. Oh, well, pretty good blocking by Carson Bell to give. Uh, Peterson a chance. Carson Bell doing a good job on Pop. Yep. It's going to be fourth down. 3.46 remaining until halftime. Uh, Southwest will have a chance. Jake Gores, no, I take that back. Khan Belushi is back deep. Wild's punt is away and uh, takes a pretty nice bounce. Southwest will get it near the uh, midfield marker. Flag on the play, Marty. Whoa. Oh, that hands behind the head, according to this, uh, is a loss of down. Yeah, that was, yeah, that's because it was a legal pass. You know, Marty. Let's do it again. I thought that was a pretty good punt. Yep. Uh, all things considered, you know, it wasn't the greatest snap, but he made a good adjustment and got it away. Yeah, I, I agree with you. He got a nice bounce. So we're going to. Punt it again. Tommy Wright. I forgot to give yep, him the man. yards, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing major. Yeah. Why'd we do this? Remember last week at South, they could have came up here and we could have told them where to put the ball. Instead, yeah. South got like about what? Or was that the other team? No, you're right. South got yardage on no, that. No, the other team got the yardage. East. And here comes the pass again. Wild lofts it up and it's incomplete. I don't know if I like that. Not back that deep. Wild, not coming through in the clutch. How about you just act like you're running down the field and stop, like 10 yards. Why can't you run that play for like right over the first down line? You only needed five yards. So act like you're going down the field. No, I had him. Yeah, you're right, it was five. And stop. Hey. Ball is spotted on the 26 yard line. Jeez. <laughs> Gorzek in the backfield, McMahon straight back. Hits the player over Pass the middle. Mark. That's gonna go. TD. Four, eight, touch. Nope, there, yep, yep, it is a touchdown. Aaron Zada. Zada with the catch and a good run. Nice crossing pattern there, Chris. You get that one on replay carry. Another attempt for an extra point. It's 32 to nothing right now, pending this uh, extra point attempt. 
and it's through. That makes it 33 to nothing. 25 yard pass. 25? Yep. Who'd you say caught that one? That was Aaron Zasada. Zasada. Yep. Well, <laughs> I can't believe my sheets, Marty. This is crazy. How many times did they have the football in the first half? I know, you know, and I, I do it, I color code it tonight. It's green and blue. Oh, I'm green and black. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, there's no string of a light, a bunch of blues or a bunch of greens. It's always three or four greens, three or four reds, or blues, you know. It just goes back and forth. You're right. It is a strange game in that respect. 322 left. Pop doing the kickoff. Chores along with the punting. Boom. Fairly high, not deep. Taken by Mork. He gets it up uh, over the 20, but uh, that's about it. Not much running room. It's going to be first and 10 Raiders. You know, we get a different perspective here at uh, North High's facilities. You know, we're not nearly as high as at South. It's a little bit harder to judge sometimes. I know there's work, Marty. They're in the works to replace this. this there's the setup here? Yep, I know that there's, uh, I talked to uh, Ed Thompson, former teacher and longtime coach here, and uh, they're, they're working on replacing this press box. Wild uh, trying to get loose, and uh, he's going to get hit for a loss. Now, did you... Has this been the same press box, basically? When I played back in uh, the late 60s, there was no top section. It was just what we're in now, a lower section. I think maybe later in the broadcast, uh, Eric can uh, maybe get a shot. Eric is a field cameraman. Eric Wiesman. Uh, Richard Bartson is on top. And uh, Kerry Kautzer is our director tonight. I'm Mike Martin, along with uh, the coach, Chris Wright. Watching his son, Tommy. Loss of two on that play, by the way, Chris. It's second down and 12. Wild again. And uh, he's not going to get much. Well, I'll tell you this much. North is giving them a chance. You know, they are trying to get the running game. It's not like they went away from it right away. But uh, they're just not able to uh, get anything going. Well, the entire game has been played in North territory. I, North hasn't been over the 50. And uh, Southwest seems like they've been in North Territory basically the whole game. Um, just uh, two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Wild alone setback. Peterson back in at quarterback again. Good night. And Pop read that one perfectly, and that's going to be a uh, pick six. And that'll make oh, the you second could see half that. quick. Yeah. Man of life. That was a great interception. Matt Theobald, the intended receiver, but uh, Nathan Pulp. Well, got that at about the uh, 20, 25 yard line, Chris, yep. you say? That kick is uh, right down the middle. With 149 remaining, 40 to nothing. Hey, Kerry, can you get a replay of that interception? Let's watch that again. Well, Southwest is as good as advertised, Marty. And uh, yeah, doesn't get right. much easier for uh, North next week as they travel up to Green Bay Preble, and that team is a, a rolling two. two. Yeah. And then uh, we'll be at South next week in a, maybe a big, big game for them. Yeah, to kind of 
Well, it'll be a big game, but yeah. uh, it really would be big if South could win this week. Yep. And then uh, just need one more for the playoffs. Here's Nelly. Nelson takes it at about the nine and uh, gets it out just over the 20 yard line. Another thing Southwest does very well, Marty, is they, uh, their special teams are very fast. Speed is so important in a, in a football game. It's, I know I've mentioned this before, when uh, the British fleet at, at Trafalgar beat the Spanish, the Spanish had these gigantic ships, and, uh, but the British had the smaller, quicker ones, and yeah. they were able to maneuver around. Uh, you know, this is back in the 1700s, and uh, they won, won that uh, armada battle against the Spanish. It was a big upset. Kind of like Wisconsin against Oregon last year if they could have pulled it off. Well, as long as the first half is taken, Marty, and we are coming up on 8 o'clock here. 8.08, .08, mind you. The uh, second half will be a lot quicker. Yeah. Unless North can score here. Oh. What happened there? Fumble picked up by Southwest, and there's still a minute eight left. McKenzie on the recovery. Aye, well, aye, aye. Knowing uh, Coach Paul Pierre, he's not going to, probably not going to do anything here except take a knee. Holy cow. Put your head down once, and all of a sudden they got the ball and they're running for the end zone. <laughs> Jeez. I would think. Uh, I would think they're just going to uh, take a knee, maybe or run, run maybe a couple plays up the middle. Yeah. I got a feeling we're going to have a delay of penalty, Chris. Uh, they put the ball in play, and uh, they're going to have to hustle up here. Well, not counting off yet. Inside handoff, and the running guy. back is uh, Andre Kadzirski, and uh, he gets it down near the 10. Second down and about six. Forty seconds and counting. Kadzirski, the lone setback. Takes it up the middle. Gets it inside the eight, and that should be the last play of the game. Half. Third down. Nine, eight, seven. Zierski up the middle again, wrapped up and pulled down by uh, Abel Madrigal, and uh, that'll be halftime. Southwest on top, 40 to nothing. Half action, they trail it by a score of 40 to nothing. Uh, some total yards, Chris. Uh, Southwest had 121 yards rushing. 77 yards passing for a total of uh, 198 in the first half. Sheboygan North had minus 16 yards rushing and 16 yards passing for yes. a total of zero yards in the first half. And uh, these are all unofficial, but uh, it still gives you an idea of uh, what the game has been like for uh, Chris and myself. <laughs> well, if it's bad for us, what is it like for the kids? Yeah. Um, trying to count here. What do we got? One, two, three fumbles and an interception. And uh, all the rest of the times we punted five times. And we tried two fake punt passes. So that's... Uh, not so good. I was looking at time possession, uh, Marty. Uh, North actually has the lead at uh, 
13 minutes and 36 seconds. Uh, but they've only had the ball for about 2 minutes and 13. You made a comment there's been no long drives, and I was... By anyone. No, the longest drive for uh, Southwest has been uh, 2 minutes and 8 seconds. And again, these are unofficial. And here's that uh, press box we were talking yeah. about. Now, you said when originally... Originally, it was just the bottom half where you see me waving at you. Everything above came uh, later, much later. And uh, you're saying they're going to scrap the whole business and possibly build a, a nice one like we have on the south side of town. They're trying to do something. I, okay. I know they're working on it and see what happens here. And uh, with the score 40 to zero, uh, they will be running the clock. That that is going to be happening. And uh, I would think that uh, Green Bay Southwest will probably play each of their starting units the first series and then. Coach Pop will probably take out uh, his regulars. And uh, just to make matters worse, Southwest gets the ball first. But on a positive, maybe you can pin them back and see if they can actually move the ball down the field because that's one thing they haven't had to do. They've had a short field all night. And Southwest was 7 for 12 passing. Uh, North was uh, 4 for 12 with uh, an interception. I believe there were two, actually, two interceptions. But, oh, uh, and Danny Wild? Danny Wild had seven carries in that quarter and three in that quarter, so he had ten carries for minus three yards. Okay, and there's uh, Coach Neen there and Coach Eirich, and, you know, I did talk to Coach a little bit this week, and one of the comments he did make, make is that his players are, are, are improving. He's seen it at practice. Um, you know, obviously you're just playing one of the joggernauts in the state this week and uh, next week uh, as well, Green Bay Preble. Caldick Allen has 38 yards rushing for uh, Southwest and uh, Matt Adams had uh, 40 yards rushing. Uh, neither of those guys carried the ball a lot. Allen carried the ball three times that's where he got his 40 yards the big one was a 29 yard run for a touchdown and then uh caldick allen had uh, two big rushes in the second quarter at a 26 yarder and a 22 yarder he had one carry in the first quarter for minus eight yards on that uh, sweep attempt right you look at the uh, southwest uh size of some of these kids i mean they got you know, you can start off, they go 266, 300, 265, 260, 270, 308, 280, 260. And uh, I don't Northwell. think Sheboygan North has a player anywhere near 250. If you look down at the bottom of your screen, number 25, that's Aaron Rothwell. He's, uh, you had mentioned about him being out and uh, not happy about it, of course. But I'll tell you, Rothwell's got the best number on the field. <laughs> that was my number when I played here at North High. He's an outstanding wrestler. <laughs> been to the state but tournament. But we won't hold that against him, will we? <laughs> been to the state tournament a number of years and uh, hoping that Aaron can have a good, successful season on the mat. Chris is not a happy camper because if uh, the home team loses, that means no interviews. That means he's got to get interviewed by me again. <laughs> Uh, I don't, you had mentioned you thought South was against uh, who this week? Isn't it Ashwabanon? Uh, they, I have it right here, Marty. They are up at, today is the 14th, correct? Yes. They are at Notre Dame. At Green Bay, Notre Dame. Notre Dame coming into tonight's game is 2-1. and one. South also 2-1. and one. Uh, Based on the records, hopefully it would be an interesting game, but uh, as we know, from past experiences, uh, Notre Dame has got a pretty good outfit most of the time. Yeah, well, they have their two wins against East and West, so it's hard to judge. They did get beat last week by Bayport, who was starting to show a little beef up there and could be kind of the team that uh, I kind of like Bayport a little bit. I like their schedule, but I, I thought Southwest and uh, Preble were the best, and I thought... Manitowoc and Bayport were next, but it's starting to look like Bayport might be that third one. I mean, Manitowoc just got mauled. Yeah, I was surprised last to week see that. Wow. By Green Bay Preble. So, hey, Richard, can you get a shot of uh, Eric Wiesman down there on the sideline? Eric uh, 
was uh, absent without leave in that uh, first half. His camera was not working. I think one of the uh, Southwest students kicked out the plug or something, but uh, it wasn't Chris or myself. We want you down there, and he's got a great shot there. There you see Eric. Eric, can you get a picture of Richard up on top? Point it up. Who cares about the game right there? You see Richard. All we're, all we're futzing around with the cameraman. Kerry Kautzer in the truck. Chris Wright, Mike Martin bringing you the uh, broadcast. Uh, north kicked off and uh, Southwest, not much of a return, got it out to the 30, relatively short kick. So you didn't miss anything. And if you have any complaints, just give uh, TV8 a call. They're not in the book anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we're 990 and yep. 95 and great equipment and I love our Digital Ooh. stuff, a nice Have truck. You, did you take a look into the truck? Oh, yeah. See that great big monitor with all the little pictures within the... Yep. Room for more cameras. <laughs> yeah, really. Carrie and Scott would love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Tiles here and there and Let's everywhere. Let's see if we can get another camera person. <laughs> here are four cameras. Taylor Van Wright on the carry. <laughs> I could just see Carrie rolling his eyes right now. <laughs> Yeah, he needs to do that a little more. Well, as we mentioned, the clock will be rolling. Pick up a three that time by Van Wright. Pitch back to the man in motion, and uh, he gets ridden down by a host of tacklers. Uh, Bell, one of them getting off the bottom. On the carry that time was uh, Jacob Mead. Actually, you know what, Chris? I'm not even sure if it was Mead, but we're giving him the carry anyway. It's, oh, fake handoff. The quarterback keeps it and gets the first down. I got to be honest with you, Marty, coming into tonight, I thought that's what we're going to see a lot of. Yeah, me too. I thought that's that, that you know, and I, I don't mean to disrespect North or anything like that, but I just think Southwest is trying things tonight. You know, trying to throw a little bit more, try a little bit of this and of that, and mix things up and see how things are going there. That was Holland on the carry. It's uh, first and 10. Ball spotted on the 44. Vicki Kalhanek up here saying hi. Sorry, at the Packer game last night, she was like five, six rows behind me. Yeah, she's a groupie. <laughs> Teaches fifth grade over at uh, Jefferson. Grant. Grant? Jefferson. Well, she used to be at Jefferson. Yeah, I think she's at Grant now. Unless she moved on. Sam Holland at the controls now. Straight back, he's got quick feet. Passes a little bit too high for uh, that intended receiver. That was uh, John Lazuski. Yeah, I just think that Southwest, I mean, just knowing that they only had thrown eight passes per game coming in and just uh, how much we knew about their uh, run. I think they're just trying to put more stuff in their arsenal for teams to scout. And well, I, yeah, and why tip your hand right. when you don't have to? Right, and I think they really are a, a really good uh, midline running or quarterback uh, get keeper type of a team. And McMahon has like never carried the ball today. I think fumble. there's a fumble. I think North North get it. got it. And what? North in... Southwest Territory. Holy cow. Is that a first tonight? Thought they had it at the 50 yard line that time on a fumble. Ball is spotted on the 47. North has it. Clock running. There's uh, under eight minutes left. I tell you, Southwest turning the ball over a little bit and doing some things that... Uh, yeah, sometimes you play down to your competition. Yeah. You know, I want to make excuses for them. Yeah, you're right. I agree. And a new quarterback. In Schmidt there. again. And uh, not getting much was uh, wild.
Still waiting for the uh, number 85, Mitchell Wild, to show something, get in the game. And always was tall and lanky, can run. And uh, it's not uh, happening. The up back is Bell. Wild is the deep back. Schmidt, that quarterback, fakes a handoff, rolling. And throwing over the middle, he's got his receiver for a nice game, Matt Theobald. Theobald's got another catch. He's got good hands, Chris. Should get him the ball more. It's, uh, hobbling a little bit after that one. Ball is down to the 30 yard line. That's a 17 yard pickup. Here we go. Bell and Wild in the backfield behind Schmidt. Schmidt straight look back. Out. Look out behind. Hit before he throws. Picked up by. Uh oh. Line who's that stream. McKenzie? Is he going to get there? No way. Showing the good hustle to uh, prevent the score and then paying the price after that was uh, Alec Lenning. But North fumbles. Oh, just when they looked like they might add a little something going there, Chris. <laughs> he was lumbering down the field. He was lumbering. He wanted to score so bad. I thought he was a little quicker than that myself. <laughs> Hey, good hustle by Lanning, though. Yeah, nice. What do we got here? New quarterback. Uh, still Holland in there, number 18. Oh, Holland, yeah. Not McMahon, though. Yeah. We have a bunch of new guys. Pitch out to uh, the man in motion and uh, trying to cut it back before he gets knocked down was Sam Elliott. Nice play by the Trojans. Picks up about five yards on that play. Second down. Fake that time and uh, Holland keeps it and he's gonna get near the end zone if not in. That was a good play. It'll be first and goal. Where are they spotting it, Chris? One yard line? Yep. First and goal at the one. 408 left and rolling. Clock's not going to be stopping here. Yeah, 12 yard run that time by Holland, and he quarterback sneaks it, and uh, he's in for the touchdown. Well, the clock will stop now. Another touchdown by Southwest. It's been nothing but touchdowns for those guys. Uh, the only thing that's been a little bit of a chink in the army, armor has been the uh, extra point kicking. Going for two. Holland still at the controls for this two point attempt after the touchdown. Straight back. Fires a bullet and caught by his wide receiver. They're going to say no, it bounced in. Boy, oh boy, I thought he had it. I thought it was good too. Uh, actually, the scoreboard, I think, gave it to it. It's still 46 to nothing. I don't think he got that. Well, I thought they said no. So scoreboard right. says 48. We say 46. I saw the official. No good. Yeah, we were, we, upstairs was wrong. Marty, you were right. Well, it looked like he caught it. The kid thought he caught it, <laughs> but no catch. Oh, 
Been a long night at the ballpark, Chris. Kick is away, taken by Griesmeyer at the uh, 16. And he gets it out right at the 30 yard line. Pretty good coverage again by the uh, Trojans. Aaron Krugel in the game, number 70. Schmidt remains the quarterback for uh, the Raiders. Jack Kelly was playing uh, center and uh, still has that, I don't know, now he's playing guard tackle. Now he's playing tackle. Good player, Jack Kelly. Take the inside handoff, pitch out. A new running back out there, Austin Campbell, gets the uh, pitch. Caleb Senkbile, number 67, doing a little blocking. Picks up a uh, couple of yards. Oh, pardon me. Loses two. Couldn't quite get the edge, Chris. Campbell again and uh, gets it up to the 30. Yeah, all fresh new faces for uh, Southwest as well. We're down to 2.30 in the third running clock. Just see some of the boys. It's going to be third down and 11. Pick up only one yard on that play. Nelson wide out on the right side, two wide outs to the left. Schmidt looking, eludes one tackler, pulls it down, now he's gonna run. Trying to spin off a of one tackler and does, but then he gets pulled down near the 23 yard line. And Schmidt just couldn't find anybody open downfield, Chris. It's gonna be fourth down. My gosh, you look at this sheet for Southwest, there's like 70 players on here. Yeah, they got a bunch, don't they? Wiles' kick is away, it's a line drive, gets a good bounce, but goes out of bounds too soon. First and 10, Southwest. Under a minute left in the uh, third quarter. Southwest takes over, ball spotted on the 45 yard line. Inside handoff, the running back uh, does not get much. Next time we're back here is on a Saturday, Marty. Yeah, it's cel celebrating 75 years of uh, North High School. Going back to the old time playing on uh, Saturdays. That's when I used to play all our games, yep. There was no lights. No, the city didn't have lights. And uh, took quite a while for South to get theirs, but they were first... Uh -oh. oh boy, he's going to be gone. He's a long strider. Taking it to the house for the touchdown is Sam Holland. That was too easy. He had us fake, Chris. I thought uh, he handed the ball off or pitched it out, but uh, he kept it and took it for the score. That was 55-yard run. Well, somebody's got to have quarterback responsibilities, and uh, even if he hands the ball off, you got to, because they're such a good... Uh, yeah, I still got to be able to... Yeah, uh, midline team and watching what the quarterback's going to do with the ball. Uh, you got to watch him the whole time and 
there was nobody there. It almost looked like the uh, fake punt last night in Green Bay. Yeah. And that's the quarter uh, right after this extra point. I don't know what little, South and West yeah. can do if they can go to, oh my gosh, they're going for two again. Yep, taking a knee. Well, they're not trying to rub it in. That's for sure. But when you can't play defense the way you should, the stuff is going to happen. Well, there's been two popular th themes of the first uh, four weeks for North. They definitely work on their punt teams and their kickoff return teams. Imagine a child struggling to breathe, to speak, to eat. That's the tragic reality for the thousands of children born every year in the developing world with a cleft palate or cleft lip. Yet all it takes is a simple surgery that costs as little as $250 to repair a cleft and change a child's life forever. Please call. Your gift of any amount will help. Call 1-800-953-2458 or visit www.savemary.com. Same trio back, Nelson in the middle this time. And he's gonna take it at about the 12 yard line, trying to get the edge and uh, they're too quick, Chris. Gets it back to about the 14 or 15 yard line. But uh, you're right. I remember one year, well, I was, I was at Chilton for 13 years, but I remember that one year in particular, they had a very successful football team, and the thing that made it successful was they were really quick, and, and they had good defensive ends who, even though they were fast guys, played smart, you know, and they wouldn't go chasing and get burned on reverse plays and that, and then the next year when those quick guys left, the team was, a nut, was only a shadow of what it was the year before. Speed made all the difference with that group. Run up the middle by the Raiders. I believe that was Campbell. Second down and nine, Nelson uh, split out to our side, Griesmeyer over on the other side. Schmidt still at quarterback. Campbell gets the inside handoff, tries to power forward, but uh, doesn't get much. Maybe he stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Third and nine. Wide receivers left and right. Lone setback is Campbell, fake to him. Schmidt looking, going deep, and making the catch was Nelson. He was surrounded by three defenders and he was the one that came up with the ball. Good play, Weston. Nelly with a good, got a little banged up there. He's a little hobbling back to the uh, huddle there, but uh, hey, big play. 21 yards. That was pretty sweet. He did that thing that uh, was at Jones last night didn't do when Aaron Rodgers was so uh, mad about him not coming back to the ball. Uh, actually, that was Earl Bennett I'm talking about from the Bears. Another catch by Nelson. He gets it, uh, and he's going to be pushed back right at the 50. Cutler was not happy with uh, Bennett on that one. At least the announcers were. He, they said he should have came back to uh, catch the ball. He didn't and uh, was intercepted. 13-yard pickup that time. 
Schmidt uh, getting his sea legs, Chris. Campbell alone set back. We got wide receivers split out this side. Schmidt deep down the middle, way over the head of Austin Mork, of Matt Theobald, pardon me. I think Weston Nelson's a little banged up and hobbled a little bit. He took a pop to two uh, catches ago and then caught the next one there, and uh, he's not exactly 100% uh, eh? skipping back to the uh, huddle. That was a penalty on the play. Illegal procedure on North. Down to eight minutes. Big going to be first and 15. Schmidt back, looking, looking, looking. Throws and incomplete. Almost intercepted. He had two receivers over there. I think the pass was intended to uh, Quinton Clunk. There's a name from the past to Chris. Bobby Clunk was a good wide receiver, not a wide receiver, a tight end type guy. Uh -huh. They didn't call him the baby bull for nothing. Matter of fact, his son, David, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, Clunk. My son threw a touchdown pass to his son, David's really? son. Yeah, Bobby's son. Maybe that was Black. I think that's what it was. I got the wrong last name. Schmidt going deep. Wide receiver. Can't make the catch. Going up for it was Mitch Wild. Now, there's a kid you talked about in the first half. Long and lanky. But not able to come up with a long throw by Schmidt. It's going to be third and 15. It's a nice big tall kid too. It'd be nice if he played some, uh, played basketball this year as well. Yeah. I remember when he played as a JV, he was up and down the floor in a force. Didn't play for Coach Desatel last year, but those are the type of kids you wish. Yeah, you know, I wish they had the heights on our program here for North. They got all that on year, height, weight, and position for Southwest. We have just position and grade for North. A uh, good catch by Mark. No, nope. Theobald. Theobald, I'm sorry. Theobald is out of bounds near a first down, and that's his third catch of the night. Bring up a fourth and one, Marty. Yeah, the 14 yard pickup. Not quite enough. North will go for it. Good time to call timeout, maybe. Yeah, they got it all figured out. Okay. We hope. Schmidt to Campbell. He's got it. Second effort. Got him to first down. Plus he got a nice block Motion. from uh, Abe Madrigal. Motion. You know, all if you're an much. official here, give me a break. 52 to nothing. Who cares? Come on, dude. <laughs> Wasn't that I'm with you on that one. Come Let on, on buddy. Play. Does it really matter? Nice. I mean, I was watching the line and I didn't see much. If anyone, maybe the one of the, uh, you know, the wings or something moved a little ahead. Let it go. Hey, look at Campbell's shoes. Looks like they threw the flag on those. How about this? Green Bay Southwest declines the penalty. Good for them. How about that? That's nice. I'm with you. That's good. Kind of nothing like screwing up a stat sheet. That's a classy act, buddy. That's a great. That's a nice gesture. It's going to be first and 10. Ball is at the uh, 39 yard line. That was a gain of two which is what I had at the beginning. Good job by Coach Pulp. And clock running. Clock should be done, it's a timeout. Did somebody call a timeout? What is going on? Gee whiz. Yeah, that's, 
If they decline the penalty and North got the first down, it's first and 10 North at the 39 yard line. Let's play ball. And I thought North called timeout. <laughs> He declined the penalty. It's a first down. Now North calls timeout. <laughs> I mean, his players are up at the line. <laughs> oh. You know, how often does it happen, though, as an official, you know, where they decline a, you know, what in normal terms is you just automatically take it, but... Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. First and 10 North, ball on the 39 yard line. We just are coming out of a timeout by North. We think everybody's got their sea legs now. It's the fourth quarter. Brandon Hicks, <laughs> number 34, is uh, in the ball game. Campbell is the uh, deep back. Austin Campbell, number 32. Schmidt dropping back, forced out of the pocket. Now McKenzie can run, and he's got to him. But he couldn't outrun a lineman. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, that's going to hurt the rushing average. Wow, all the way back to the what? What is it? 47 yard line about? 48? 13 yard loss? Jeez. Second down and 23. Two wide receivers to the left. Pass over the middle is intercepted. Is that Holland? No, not Holland. But it's going to be taken to the house by Ellie Smith. Ellie with a pick at about the uh, 50 yard line. Took it 50 yards for a score. We get a replay on that carry. Boy, oh boy. Two pick six tonight. Southwest needs to decide what they're doing here. Since their guys are socializing, uh, we need to kick an extra, another extra point. Taylor Themar is a little late for North. We know where we are. Yeah. Oh, they're going for two and taking a knee. Boy, oh boy. You know, I mean, I, I give I give Coach Pop credit, you know, and he's, and he's uh, I think, doing the right thing. I mean, there's no sense in rubbing it in anymore. But when you got a team that's so ineffective that the other team is doing that, you know, that doesn't say much for your squad. And I know the kids are working hard, you know, and I've talked to a mom before the game and about how hard her son works. And, uh, you know, to get demoralized like this is just not a good thing. And they're not competitive. That's the other thing. And it doesn't get any easier next week. Well. Traveling to Green Bay Preble. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it. hopefully in the next, after that, things will be a little easier and you know, maybe the next time we're here in two weeks, we're going to get that first win for the Raiders. Green Bay East travels here, and it uh, should be an exciting day. And if that can't pump you up, nothing, nothing will.
That kick is high and deep, taken at about the five yard line by Nelson. Lose one tackler and then is knocked down right at the 20. Not much of a return there. Again, uh, that speed showing up that Chris talked about. And, uh, we've been talking about all night, actually. Our next game will be uh, next Friday, September 21st, when we're at South. De Pere comes to town. That'll be a challenging matchup for the Red Wings. But a winnable game. Yes, yeah, and uh, certainly the case. Schmidt still at the controls. He's been there the whole second half. Campbell is his deep back. And they hand it off to him. He gets hit behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to be a loss of about two or three yards. Giving him a minus one on the carry. In the quarter, Chris uh, North has minus 11 yards rushing. Second back through Campbell, hit right at the line of scrimmage, maybe in the backfield some more. I'll give him a no gainer on that. Not so good when you uh, have a no gainer and your rushing average improves. <laughs> Tyler Griesmeyer is a wide out to the left. Campbell a second back through. Battering ram, nothing doing. Three runs and you're not going to punt have, here. They don't have anything to show for it. It is uh, 34, 30 seconds and counting right now. Well, well, you're right, North will run one more. It's kind of what we expected. You, yeah. you know, we hoped for better. <laughs> Still I mean, doesn't feel any better. No, no it doesn't. And uh, hoping for better, but it just didn't turn out that way. And um, Hey, you think they're gonna call a penalty if uh, they overrun the uh, no. 25 seconds or whatever? No, they're gonna let this go and they're shaking hands, which is the right thing to do. And Don't call a penalty for illegal procedure. That's the ball game. Green Bay Southwest, 58, Sheboygan North, nothing. We gotta work on our spelling of Sheboygan, Kerry. It's Sheboygan. But uh, not much we can say about this one, Chris, that we haven't already said, but we'll let you talk a little bit more. Well, I was just going to say, I, I hope Southwest does well. I, I mean, them and Preble and those guys are going to be good. For Sheboygan North, it's back to practice tomorrow and try to get things fixed. And, uh, you know, we look forward to seeing them in two weeks. All righty. For the crew, we had uh, Eric Wiesman on the field camera. Richard Bartson on the tap pop camera. Our uh, director tonight was Kerry Kautzer doing a fine job working through the technical difficulties early. For my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Uh, one more time, Southwest the winner, 58 to nothing. Uh, thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road. I am Sammy and I have high cholesterol.